Uh, what's doing everyone? What I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you how to do my car free table routine. If you haven't seen it before, check it in the description. I'll probably leave a link somewhere around here. And um, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, what I like about this trick is it requires no setup or gimmicks. You don't need no double cards or anything like that. So to do the trick, as you usually would, you, should, you have to shuffle the cards. So you can even hand the cards over to Spectator, it doesn't matter. And now what you do is, you let Spectator choose a free selected card. Um, let's say they choose this one. Five of spades. Now the first move is, you have to control the card to the bottom of the deck. So what you can do is, you place the card at the back, and you push it in, you leave it out jogged for a bit. And then with, with your thumb, you just push up and in, and that gives you a bit of a break. Now what you can do is, just go tack like you're screwing up the deck, and make sure, and keep your pinky in that where the break is. See, five space. Now to get it to the bottom, you can either take where your pinky is, and, and just drop it to the pack and add the rest on, or you can take portions from the bottom and bring it to the top. Either way, you've got the five of spades at the bottom. And e even if you know other ways to force the cut to the bottom, you can do that as well. It doesn't really matter. Now, once you've done that, here comes the important bit. This is where you have to, where you palm the card. Now, how I did that was, I, with my pinky, I pushed the card down and around. So what? So you're just pushing you're pushing the card down and then just make it look like you're going to cut the packet like so. This is, this is a very important part because if you stuff this one up, this is when people will know how you're doing the trick and they'll start laughing. Alright, so once you've, so you're in this position, you've cut in the deck, make it look like you've cut it. Now as you go to pick up the deck, I'm going to move, remove the card so you know what I'm doing. As you move, you come in to pick up the deck and you're lapping the card. So you're putting that, placing the five of spades onto your lap. Now once that's done, the trick's pretty much set up. As long as no one looks over and goes, oh, what's that on your lap, you should be alright. So now you can even hand the cards over to, sh to the spectator to shuffle. Once they've done that, you place cards around the table. I like to do this, it makes it look a bit more cool and dramatic, even though it means nothing. Now you tell the spectator to think of your card. Now, however, you can pre present this however you want. You don't even have to do this little square thing. You can just put the cards on the table and just go, wham. But as long as you do it slow and build up to the build up to it. So I got my five spades in my lap. I bring it underneath the table. You can even tell what hand you want to go underneath the table, left or right. Doesn't really matter. As long as you pick up the card and bring it underneath the table, you the tricks all set up now. Now from here, you tell your spectator to think of the card and just think of it going through the table. You slam your hand. Now now you wait. You wait about two, three seconds. And then once you've done that, you slowly, slowly, slowly bring your card, reveal that there's one card underneath the table. And then you say, what was your card? They say five of spades. Turn the card over. There you have it. Card for the table. Alright, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Le leave a comment in the down below. Tell me how you went performing the trick. I love to hear all your stories. You interact with me, I interact back with you. Um, if you if you're new to my channel, subscribe. And yeah, just have a good day.